Hi, this is Alex, and this is the final build of the machine before all the other components like the custom top and the side panels and whatnot uh, come together. But basically, here is the water cooling unit uh, fully running and fully operational. As you can see here by the temperature gauge of the CPU, it's running relatively cool compared to what it was before I put the water cooling unit. Right now it's showing it it's teetering between 22 and 23 degrees Celsius and before I put the water cooling in there and had air cooling with big uh, CPU heat sinks it was stabilizing around 29 to 30 degrees uh, Celsius. So it's definitely a lot cooler than before. So let me show you how the tubing all came out. Um, as you can see over here um, this is the 120 millimeter uh, one fan unit uh, this radiator and has an in and an out so this out comes comes into the uh, into the CPU water block which is right in there and then out of the CPU water block it goes into the other CPU water block outside of that CPU water block it goes into this five and a quarter inch uh, all-in-one uh, pump and reservoir unit and outside of that it goes into this big uh, three fan uh, uh, radiator at the top and then it comes out of that radiator and it goes through and goes right back into the, that radiator and it, that completes the loop. Um, right over here I have a temperature sensor uh, it's an inline temperature sensor and here's the thermometer with this little black cable coming out and that connects into the five and a quarter inch uh, pump unit right here and let's see on the front of the computer, the front of the case, this is the Coolant's um, five and a quarter inch control panel. And as you can see here, this shows you the water level. And this is where the reservoir where the water would go. And here are the various controls. Right now, it's showing that the pump is running at five, um, and the metric is from one to one to ten, so it's running about half speed. And I can change it. Um, this is the temperature of the water, so it's going at 84 and I have three temperature sensors. The other two are showing basically the ambient um, uh, temperature of the of the uh, internal of the chassis. And this is the fan and I can make it go faster. Probably here it go a little faster. And let me turn it down. There we go. And I've noticed that it does actually change the temperature of the water as the fans go, ha um, go faster. Now, in addition to all this, um, I also got a little cute here, and I got, I got a couple of um, blue uh, cold cathode tubes uh, to make it glow blue. And I also have this nice uh, UV, um, uh, UV stick, which I got because these... Um, these tubes are UV reactant and so is the water inside of them as you can see right here. So I'm going to get a couple more of these so it, it uh, glows a little bit better. And that completes pretty much this uh, water, cooling, uh, water cooling unit. So I hope you enjoyed watching uh, this build and if you have any questions uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, send me an email or just comment um, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.